Hi friends today's topic of discussion is from subject General Science of Maharashtra State for Standard 6, Chapter 1 Natural Resources Air, Water and Land. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks. A. The layer of ozone gas absorbs dash rays that come from the sun to the earth. B. Of the total water available on the earth, fresh water forms dash percent. C. Both dash and dash constituents are present in the soil. Let's discuss the answers for these questions. A. The layer of ozone gas absorbs ultraviolet rays that come from the sun to the earth. B. Of the total water available on the earth, fresh water forms 0.3%. C. Both biotic and abiotic constituents are present in the soil. Now let us go the next question. Question number 2. Why is it said that? A. The ozone layer is a protective shell of the earth. B. Water is life. C. Sea water is useful even though it is not potable. Let's discuss the answers for these questions. Question number 2. A. Why is it said that the ozone layer is a protective shell of the earth? There is a layer of ozone gas, O3, in the lower part of stratosphere. The ultraviolet rays coming from the sun are very harmful for living things, if these radiations reach the earth's surface can cause skin cancer. The ozone gas absorbs these rays. As a result, life on Earth is protected. Therefore, it is said that the ozone layer is a protective shell of the Earth. Question number 2, B, why is it said that water is life? We need to drink 3 to 4 liters of water every day so that all our bodily functions run smoothly. Other living things also require water although the amount of water they need may vary according to the size of their body. The blood of animals and the sap in plants contain a very high proportion of water. Water is required for the existence of living beings and its absence would hamper their development process and their survival. Without water, the life on earth will end. Therefore, it is said that water is life. Question number 2 C. Why is it said that sea water is useful even though it is not potable? The water vapor formed from oceans is the main source of water in the water cycle. It gets converted into rain, creating fresh water sources on Earth. Water from oceans can be used for making hydroelectricity. Nuclear power plants require coolants like water to bring down the temperature of the reactors. This demand is fulfilled by the water from oceans. Oceans support a variety of flora and fauna which have both ecological and economical value. Therefore, it is said that sea water is useful even though it is not potable. Now let us go the next question. Question number 3. What will happen if, a, microbes in the soil get destroyed? B. The number of vehicles and factories in your surroundings increases. C. The total supply of potable water is finished. Let's discuss the answers for these questions. Question number 3, A. What will happen if microbes in the soil get destroyed? Microbes or microorganisms are microscopic organisms. Microorganisms are divided into several types, bacteria, algae, fungi, viruses, etc. Certain bacteria and blue-green algae have the ability to fix atmospheric nitrogen. This enriches the fertility of soil. Humus is formed due to the decomposition of dead plants and animals by microbes. Humus supplies nutrients to the soil, helps to aerate the soil and holds water in the soil. If microbes in the soil gets destroyed, the above-mentioned advantages cannot be obtained. Question number 3, B, what will happen if the number of vehicles and factories in your surroundings increases? If the number of vehicles and factories increase in our surroundings increases, then it will require more trees to be cut down to make way for them and thus resulting in damage to the environment. 
there will be large emission of smoke which will mix with the atmosphere and thus leading to air pollution. Harmful substances, nitrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide, etc., are given out through combustion of fuels and through incomplete combustion of fuels. It will result in noise pollution. Question number 3, C. What will happen if the total supply of potable water is finished? We need to drink 3 to 4 liters of water every day so that all our bodily functions run smoothly. We cannot use all the water on earth because sea water is salty and some water is in the frozen state. Potable water is required for the existence of human beings and many other living beings and its absence would hamper their development process and their survival. If the total supply of potable water is finished, then the life of living beings dependent on potable water will end. Now let us go the next question. Question number 4. Match the following. Group A1. Carbon dioxide 2. Oxygen 3. Water vapor 4. Microbes. Group B. A generation of soil. B. Rain C. Plants and food production. D. Combustion. Let's discuss the answers for these questions. 1. Carbon dioxide is linked with C. Plants and food production. 2. Oxygen is linked with D. Combustion. 3. Water vapor is linked with B. Rain. 4. Microbes is linked with A. Generation of soil. Now let us go the next question. Let's discuss the answers for these questions. Constituents of the biosphere Answer, living things and parts of the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere which they occupy. B. Biotic constituents of soil Answer, living and once living things like plants, microbes, worms, insects, rodents, etc. C. Fossil fuel Answer, coal, oil, natural gas D. Inert gases in air. Answer. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. E. Gases that are harmful to the ozone layer. Answer. Carbon tetrachloride, chlorofluorocarbons. Question number 6. True or false? A. Land and soil are the same thing. Answer. The statement is false. Correct statement, land is in the form of soil, stones, big rocks. B. The water in a lake is called ground water. Answer, the statement is false. Definition of groundwater and lake. Groundwater is the water present beneath earth's surface in soil pore spaces and in the fractures of rock formations. A lake is an area filled with water, surrounded by land. Lakes lie on land. C. It takes about 1,000 years to form a 25 centimeters thick layer of soil. Answer, the statement is false. Correct statement, it takes about 1,000 years to form a 2.5 centimeters thick layer of soil. D. Radon is used in decorative lights. Answer, the statement is false. Radon is used in cancer therapy. Neon is used in decorative lights. Now let us go the next question. Question number 7. Answer in your own words, A. Explain with the help of a diagram how soil is formed. B. Why is there a shortage of water even though it occupies about 71% of the Earth's surface? C. What are the various constituents of air? Write their uses. D. Why are air, water, and land considered to be valuable natural resources? Let's discuss the answers for these questions. Question number 7. A. Explain with the help of a diagram how soil is formed. Living and once living things like plants, microbes, worms, insects, rodents, etc. are the biotic components of soil. The abiotic components of soil are supplied through the weathering of the bedrock. 
due to the heat, cold, and water of the sun, wind and rain respectively, the bedrock breaks down into pieces. The roots of trees growing on the land also help weathering of rocks. Stones, sand, and soil are formed from these pieces. The process of soil formation is slow and continuous. This figure explains soil formation. So now we will go to the next figure that elaborates factors affecting soil formation. Parent rock determines color, mineral content of soil. Relief conditions slash topography like altitude and slope determines erosion, drainage, deposition of soil. Climate conditions like temperature, rainfall influence rate of weathering and humus. Flora, fauna, and microorganism affect the rate of humus formation. Time, aging, determines soil properties. Now we will go to the next figure that elaborates layers of land. Left side figure is what is provided in the textbook. I have placed another figure to elaborate more about the layers of land. If the land has mature soil, the topmost layer is humus, that is organic materials. Question number 7, B, why is there a shortage of water even though it occupies about 71% of the earth's surface? Although water occupies about 71% of the Earth's surface, all of it is not potable water. We cannot use all the water on Earth because seawater, 97%, is salty and 2.7% water exists as groundwater, ice, and other forms. Only 0.3% of water is available as potable water which is fit for human consumption. Due to the uncontrolled use of water for an increasing population, industry, and farming, it is now in short supply. If the total supply of potable water is finished, then the life of living beings dependent on potable water will end. Question number 7, C. What are the various constituents of air? Write their uses. The air in the atmosphere contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, six inert gases, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, water vapor, and dust particles. Nitrogen helps living things to build the necessary proteins. It is useful in the production of ammonia and in airtight packaging of foodstuffs. Oxygen necessary for respiration in living things and for combustion. Carbon dioxide plants use it for producing their food. Used in fire extinguishers. Argon used in electric bulbs. Helium used for obtaining low temperature. Used for generating lift in airships. Neon used in decorative lights and for street lighting. Krypton used in fluorescent tubes. Xenon used in flash photography. Question number 7, D. Why are air, water, and land considered to be valuable natural resources? Importance of air, there are various constituents of air and they have their corresponding uses of living things. Nitrogen helps living things to build the necessary proteins. Oxygen necessary for respiration in living things and for combustion. Carbon dioxide plants use it for producing their food. Importance of water Water exists as seawater, 97%, as groundwater, ice, and other forms, 2.7%, and as potable water, 0.3%. Oceans support a variety of flora and fauna which have both ecological and economical value. We need to drink 3 to 4 liters of water every day so that all our bodily functions run smoothly. The blood of animals and the sap in plants contain a very high proportion of water. Importance of land all terrestrial animals including man live on land. Some terrestrials dig burrows in the ground for shelter. This means that they use land for fulfilling their need. We also use land for farming and for building houses and roads. The minerals, crude oil, and natural gas obtained from the earth, land, are very important for us. With that today's topic natural resources air, water, and land is completed. Please like, comment, 
share and subscribe thanks for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye.